Hey everybody. Well, it's kind of hard to say um, about the status of my DXG567V HD camcorder. I don't know whether this is in the life story of this camera, whether it's in the road or what. Um, one thing I can say is the electronics on this camera still work just fine. But I'm um, having a little issue with this camera. And it actually has to do with the lens. This here is the lens assembly. By the way, I'm shooting this video with my DXG579V camcorder. So I might be using this camera for a little while. I'm not sure. The issue with this camera is, um, for some weird reason or another, it's like the focus adjustment has got out of whack. Basically, it's more macro than it's ever been before. You know, when you push a slider down to standard or infinity or landscape, it's not fully retracted down to landscape. It's still got a little bit of macro involved. And, um, I've taken this camera apart several times a day. I've taken the lens completely apart where you can see the CMOS sensor. Full, I mean, I fully disassembled the lens, assembly, spring, and all, put it back together, made sure it was seated properly, and just cannot seem to figure out what the heck is going on with this thing. So, really, I'm not sure uh, whether we can call this in life for this DXG567V camcorder. I beat the living crap out of it over the years. I've had it for two years actually. Got it in March of 2010, and it has shot many of the videos that are currently on Q Computer Channel right now. The good thing is, like I was saying, the electronics are still perfectly fine on this camera, so I'm still looking to modify it. Um, what I'm going to try to do is um, next time I go to the thrift store, I'm going to pick through some old um, digital cameras that have zoom lens assemblies. And see if I can stick a zoom lens on this camera and see if I can make that work. Because right now I'm not really sure about this. And um, let's see. I actually have another DXG camera that I don't even use anymore. This is a DXG 305V. And its lens assembly is kind of close similar to the 567 and the 579. It has that um, slider on the side. And basically what you what happens is you push this up, it turns the whole lens assembly, and there's like a little um, knob in there that pushes up on the camera, I mean the um, lens assembly, to get macro to work. But the only issue with this camera here is, um, this camera has flash built into it. And let me explain what freaks me out about cameras with flash built in. The thing about these flash units is um, they have a really high voltage capacitor usually about I would say 350 volts or so and um, it's a real hazard when you're working on these cameras I mean when you think about it um, wall voltage in the United States is 110 volts and you get electrocuted by that it it, it hurts pretty bad and of course that's AC when it comes to DC it's a constantly on positive hit unlike AC where you have like 60 cycles or 50 cycles depending on what country you live in so yeah, that's one reason why I'm not really looking forward to trying to tear this camera apart. And of course, if I go buy a digital camera from the thrift store, I'm going to have the same obstacle. So it's really a case of I don't know. So kind of, I'm kind of in mass confusion with what to say about the status of my camera. But I figured I'd create a video about it anyway. So anyways, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask.